Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2021 Rogue Armored 371. Folks, if you're looking for a toy hauler that has high-end amenities, it's beautiful, not necessarily designed, you know, just with the guys in mind, if you will, but it has a little bit of everything, right? It has fashion, it has flair, it has nice amenities, plus it still has the big 13-foot garage, so if you want to take it side-by-side, -side, this gives you the ability to do it and... It has right around a 4,000 pound cargo carrying capacity. So that way you have plenty of uh, weight for your toys and anything else that you need to pack. Let's start off though in the beautiful kitchen, the space we are currently in. It is a combined kitchen and living space, but I think they did a good job on the layout personally. Because of course you have like your U-shaped kitchen right here in the back, but built into that is a booth table. So if you want a place to sit, you have like the dinette style in the back. You can put a couple stools right here. Beautiful, solid surface countertops all the way throughout. You'll see right behind that, they have the zebra style shades, which are kind of neat. Uh, they're weighted, so you can just lift them up and down like that. So if you want to let a little bit of light in, you know, you can kind of adjust the amount of light you want in. Or of course, you can, you know, basically completely close it out like so. One of the things they do very well in here is you have plenty, and I mean plenty, of electrical outlets and USB ports. You'll see right here, built into this one section, you have three outlets plus two dual USB ports. You can see if you take a look right up there, again, you have two more of both the electrical outlets and USB ports built into the kitchen. So folks, plenty of outlets. Right up top is the TV. So if you want to kick back, relax, watch TV, this is one of the few locations you can do it. There's also a spot for TV in the uh, garage. We'll see that in just a little bit. But of course, directly across from that, right over here, is your main seating. So that's why I said it's kind of your uh, a combined living area and kitchen. So right here, nice and comfortable. Both the sides are recliners, so you can put those up, kick back, and relax. You'll also see that your cup holders have a couple different options. There's a light on there. There's also a heat feature and a massage feature. So, you know, again, if it's a little bit colder, you can turn on the heat, turn on the massage, kind of, you know, take the pain away from riding a hard day or whatever it might be. If we take a look at this wall, you will see kind of like this little, um, I don't know, it's almost like an entertainment hutch, if you will, even though there's not a TV here. Uh, but again, I do like it where it's at. I think it's better placement than having it here. But you will see your multimedia center there with an HDMI inlet. Again, a ton of outlets. You have the fireplace right down below. Uh, in a space this big, this probably isn't going to do a whole lot for heat, but it does add a little bit to the ambiance. It looks kind of cool. Moving over to the side, main control panel is located right here. You will also see not one, but two thermostats because this one does have uh, two zones. You, this, it does come standard in the armored with two 15,000 BTU ACs. And then right up top there, you see a little bit of storage, kind of crushed glass look. LED lights, plus you have the blue accent light up top. Moving further into the kitchen, again, as I mentioned, beautiful solid surface countertops. You have kind of like the black uh, stainless look going on. And I say that because not just the faucet, but the sink as well. It's like a that new black stainless. I know Samsung has some of their appliances they've come out with this. I think it's really sharp. It looks beautiful. Apron front on here too. So again, having the that nice kind of residential elements in a toy hauler, I think is a big plus. And if you take a look underneath, folks, you do have enough space there for a trash can. Moving over to the side, your three burner cooktop with the glass cover. So you can use this as prep space. You have all the rest of this as prep space too. This of course folds up and back just like, uh, just like so. That front one there is high output oven underneath. You can hit the button, the knobs do light up. Above that is your microwave. Again, gorgeous microwave. Uh, to be perfectly honest, this one kind of threw me for a loop. Um, you know, you expect it to be this really big, massive microwave. But when you open it up, eh, it's a little bit smaller, right? It, it's pretty standard size. You see, this is just like a big blank right here. Um, you know, it, it, that's kind of a, a miss for me. While I love the way it looks, I wish they just would have utilized that actual space and made it a bigger fridge. Um, it looks beautiful. I just wish the functionality was there as well. Very minor thing. I don't use a microwave a ton when I camp anyway, but you know, again, uh, just one of those things that's a slight miss for me. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, right over here to the side, you have good storage, same thing up top and 
moving around behind me, you'll see this here too. So again, in a toy hauler, a lot of times you just don't have a lot of kitchen storage. It's not at all the case here. You have plenty of space for all of your cups, plates, um, you know, pots and pans. Can't really fit them down there. You don't have much space, but you do have pantry space. I'll show you in just a second where you have uh, room to fit all of them. And then flatware and some of your other things like your, you know, hot pads, towels, things like that. You have plenty of room there. Uh, you also have like kind of like the decorative backsplash over here. Now I know that it's not, you know, really functional again because they put a window instead of a backsplash there, which I think is a good choice. But this can make a nice bar area. Uh, for me, I like to drink a little bit when I camp. So, you know, if you want to set a couple bottles there, you can make a pretty nice looking bar. Across the way, you will see the pantry. Open that up. It is lit. And again, plenty of room there for all of your dry goods. Plus, um, as I mentioned, if you want to put some pots and pans or toasters, things like that, you have room for it. And because these shelves don't come all the way forward, if you want to put a broom in there you, or a mop, uh, maybe a Swiffer, you can do that as well. Coming over a little bit, you get into the fridge nice large fridge we'll open that up very pretty over here uh, you can almost make that like a like a wine chiller look if you want um you know i think it's it designed maybe for like uh, fresh fruit you know something just to, to look kind of fancy and then underneath again you have several compartments right down here you can pull all that out um it is quite large you know i, I think it was uh 10.7 cubic foot i believe it is don't quote me i'll have to double check um but, you know, it is a newer fridge. It's uh, Furion's newest one. You know, again, I think it goes very well with the rest of the look in here. And I like the fact that you do get more cold storage. Coming into the garage, you have the glass door. Um, the, the thing that's nice about this is if you notice, it's sealed all the way around. The thing that's great about that is that way it doesn't let fumes in. So if you're back here, you know, starting up the, the quads, the motorcycles, the side by side, whatever it is, you're keeping the fumes out of the garage. Of course, open the vents up to let it vent out. If you want washer and dryer, folks, there is washer dryer prep in this unit. And over to this side here is the bathroom. Now what you'll see is this has foldable doors. And the purpose of that is you can break this down if you want, put this wall over here, this one folds back over here. Um, and that will give you um, basically more space. So again, if you need to fit that side by side in there, you can break these walls down. But as you will notice, you have a toilet. Um, this one, I believe, yes, yep, porcelain bowl on there. Gotta love that, right? You know, they could have cheaped out in a half bath and gave you plastic to give you a nice porcelain bowl. You have an electrical outlet, a little bit of storage space here, plus a spot to wash your hands, which is always a great thing to have in the garage. And again, I, you know, I just, I like the versatility. It's not the most stylish thing ever, but for me, I will take uh, functionality all day long. Up above, this is one other thing for me is a slight miss. I'm a big fan of power beds uh, just because I like ease of use. These ones, at least they did give you these handles, but it is a little tough to pull down. Um, you know, if, if you're not, if you're on a lot of upper body strength or you don't weigh a lot, this can be a little tough. I'll drop it down to show you, uh, but again, I just will talk about it real quick. You have the queen bed here. You do have the sofas, the rollover sofas. So, you know, these just roll over like that. You'll have a leg here, just drop the leg down on both. And you have a bed on bottom as well as a bed on top. So plenty of sleeping space. You can see the covers here for the windows. They just um, snap on, you can snap off so you can let some light in here. And then you have this screen on the back. Uh, this has a couple different options. You have the full cover. Well, which is on the back side of this. That way, if it's raining, it keeps the rain out. Or you can open that one up so you have the screen, so that way it lets some uh, uh, airflow in through here. But I do love this. It does have the Partio Pack, uh, Partio Deck on there, or the Party Deck. Can't talk today. You can see the cable, so you can drop that down, unzip it right in the center, makes it nice and easy to enter and exit. All right, onto the bed. So what you'll want to do, uh, you can kind of pull this again, to kind of get it to come down, I would actually grab both of these bars because you need to make sure it's kind of even on both sides. And then we're just gonna pull it down just like so. Then you're gonna come up to the front, same thing, grab this, pull it down, and just like that, it drops down. So again, it's not the, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's actually probably faster to set up and tear down um, than it is for the, uh, the power one. But, you know, if you're a little bit shorter and you can't reach this, or if, you know, again, if you just don't have uh, the upper body strength, it can be a little bit more difficult. 
but the struts do take a lot of the weight out of it, making it a little bit easier. Um, over to the side, I do want to show you, you have an entry door, so that way you can quickly and easily enter into the garage space. There's a shade you can shut down if you want to close everything out. Comes with the ladder as well to climb up into that bed and above that bed. We probably didn't see it, but there is another 15,000 BTU AC. And then right up here, of course, is our loft. So uh, if, again, if you need more sleeping space, you have it. Plug-ins up there. There's also a fan right up top on the ceiling. So that way, if you don't want to run the AC, you just want airflow, you can kick that bad puppy on. Making our way up front, coming up the steps. So this is all a big slide out right here. There is wardrobe storage. Show you that real quick. I'll show you the rest when we go into the bedroom. Uh, but first, we will come into the bathroom. So I do like the bathroom. I like what they did with the wallboard. If you take a look, it's a little bit different than what we have in the rest of it. So it kind of gives it a little bit different look. Taking a seat on the toilet, porcelain bowl, folks, plenty of space here. I'm six foot tall. You can see I have plenty of shoulder room, great leg space, linen closet over to the side. So you, you know, you have enough room for uh, well, all of your linens. One piece fiberglass shower in here with the roller doors, neo angle shower. Again, I'll step in here to show you space. So as I said, six foot tall, about 200 pounds. Um, I, I can't stand completely up really, unless I'm under the skylight, but you can probably be 6'1", still be able to stand up in there without having to duck down. Um, nicer hand wand in here too, rather than just being like the white one, it's like a nicer chrome looking one. Over to the side, mirrored medicine cabinet. Right down below you have this vessel bowl with like a waterfall style faucet, so some upgraded uh, amenities in here too. You have electrical outlet there, and then a little bit of storage underneath. Then as we make our way into the bedroom, so right here is our second 15,000 BTU AC. Of course, LED lights. You do have TV hookup in the bedroom as well, if you want a TV hookup. Uh, I forgot to show you in the garage, but there is a uh, TV hookup in the garage. Power bed system. So you can see right now, it's actually lifted. So uh, this is nice if you want to like read a book at night or make it a little bit easier to get out of bed, you can lift that up. Or if you just like to sleep that way, um, you know, I know some people do with uh, different kind of beds. I know they lift. I personally would prefer having the legs lift, but that's just me. Over on one side, you will see that you have like a little nightstand, which is great. Again, electrical outlets, USB port, same thing on the other side. You have a wall sconce, which I think they did a good job on. It kind of has that cage in the center, almost like a pulling in that farmhouse style. Looks kind of pretty. And then you have a couple of drawers over to the side. Storage all the way across the top, again, with that crushed glass look. Another wardrobe right here. So you do have two wardrobes. And then drawers all the way underneath. Uh, you'll also see a window, electrical outlet, and lastly, I do want to talk about space here. Folks, it is a six foot five inch headroom that you have in this bedroom. So even if you're a taller guy, you can basically walk all the way up here, still be able to get in and out of bed without having to worry about hitting your head. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at the outside of the Rogue Armored 371. Right up front is the beautiful front cap. You have LED lights all over this thing you'll see that you kind of have this little uh, air dam right down underneath as well. Ah, you know, they say it helps with towability. I'm not sure how much actual use you will get out of it, but it does look kind of cool. Uh, dropping down underneath, right down here, this one does come with the, or rather we optioned it with the Cummins Onan 5500 watt generator. It does come with Gen Prep standard. We optioned that in. We also optioned the solar. Uh, that is a 50 watt panel that is on, that is roof mounted, which is nice. So you don't really have to worry about it. Controller and everything built right in there. Over to the side here is your two 30 pound propane tanks. So you have 60 pounds of propane right up front. And because the propane is up there, that means they move the battery around to the side. Oh, it is worth mentioning right up here. Got to show you this. Battery disconnect for this coach, folks, is right up there. It's kind of tough to find. So. Um, but it does have one, which is great. So that way you can cut all power off to the RV when you're not using it. Opening this up, this of course is our battery compartment. Boop, there she is, just like so. And then coming down a little bit further. So this is, I'll say something real quick. So this is one of the only other things that I, I kind of have as a miss is the fact they put the battery over to the side because it doesn't really give you a good opportunity to have two batteries. You can put a larger battery in there, um, but you know, I, I just personally, I would have rather have seen space where I can put a second battery, especially because you're gonna be having this a lot of times when you're out boondocking. And I know you have the generator, 
but still, you know, you can't always run it depending on where you're at. We take a look at the garage storage. It does have decent garage storage. You have this little drop down compartment here as well on both sides, LED light laid in there. Uh, underneath, you can see this one does have auto level. It's part of the Rogue Armored. It's one of those upgrades having that auto level system. Uh, I also forgot to mention in the front, there is aluminum foil up there, or not aluminum foil, it makes it sound like something you cook with. Uh, it's like a thermal foil, and it does help a lot as far as uh, the heat. So in your hotter months, it helps reflect the heat and keep it out. Colder months helps keep it warmer inside. It's a reflective barrier. 10 gallon water heater. Folks, that's one of those things where on some of these bigger units, a lot of manufacturers try to save a little bit of money. They'll just give you a six gallon. Having a 10 gallon is great, especially if you do plan on using any of the showers inside. You have not one, but two power awnings, which basically cover the entire coach here. So you just roll that out. You have all this awesome camp space. You don't have any slides impeding in that. You have LED lights in the arms of the awning on this one as well. Um, and then to get into the RV, as I mentioned previously, you have not one, but two entrances. Kind of cool. You have the, uh, the, the black door on here. I'm not sure if that's a, it might be a tempered glass. I, I would have to check with the manufacturer. Um, but, but it is a, a very cool door. The entrance, you'll see also have the bigger steps. So the more ride step above step system, very solid aluminum alloy on here. You have the grip tape. So that way, if it's wet, you have some extra traction, smaller foldable grab handle. I wish they would have put a bigger one on here to be honest, just because you have the four steps. So when you step on that first step, it is a pretty big reach, uh, to try to make your way into the RV. So I wish they just would put a little bit bigger one on there again, very small thing. Uh, but sometimes it's the small things that make a difference. Speakers, if you want to jam out outside, you have the capability to do so. If watching TV is more your speed, no issues. They do have the mount here as well as the hookups for it. And then opening this guy up, this of course is one of my favorite things about uh, this particular floor plan. You have the outside fridge, which again, as I mentioned, I like to have a couple beverages, so this gives you a good place to put them. You also have the, uh, the prep station here, so you can see you have the cutting board built in. Um, this, I believe, is supposed to be for maybe a, the trash can. Let's find out. Does this go in here? No? Nope, not sure. Don't know what that's for, but I will find out. Um, over to the side, though, you do have the trash can here, which is great. And then the ice maker. I like the fact it comes with that as well. Um, you know, again, I, as I said, beverages, having the ice is a great thing. This is another big one, something that a lot of manufacturers don't do, but I think it is especially important in a big toy hauler where you have a lot of weight, G-rated tires. You've heard of the horror stories of blowouts, folks having heavier duty tires will definitely help prevent that. I mean, you can just take a look at them and see that those are bigger, beefier tires. So I do enjoy that. The secondary entrance into the garage, they go to your standard fold out steps, you know, smaller grab handle again, chances are you won't be using it a ton. Uh, but if you do want to go into the garage, it gives you the capability to do that. You have the leash latch right here. So if you need to, uh, you know, if you have any uh, furry loved ones with you, you have a spot to tie them up, makes it nice and easy. The patio, this does just drop down. You know what, here. Why talk about it when we can show it, right? So open this up for you, just like that. Make sure I don't, eh, I might hit the fence. Let's find out. We'll drop it down and yep, we're gonna hit. So, the, but there it is. You can see that you can kind of see the concept here. So you have the cables which hold it up. You have the, the swing out patio system with the wheels. Uh, folks, that more ride swing out patio system is probably one of the easiest to set up in my opinion. Very, very simple. And then uh, as we saw inside, you have the screen and everything uh, located there. So again, that way you can just zip it out. It keeps the bugs out, unzip it, head out, same thing, head back in. You can drop the ladder down quickly and easily climb up onto the fully walkable roof. 30 gallon fuel fill station. This is, uh, you can see that. So you have the control right there. This will be your nozzle here. Of course, that's where you're gonna fill it up. 50 amp detachable power cord. With any time you have two ACs, especially two ACs in the fireplace, you're gonna want 50 amps. So that's where that will plug into. To make your way up front, let's talk about the tanks real quickly, folks. This one has big tanks on it. You're looking at a 150 gallon fresh tank, 80 gallon gray and 80 gallon black. The idea is you're going to take this out somewhere. You're going to be out there a while. You don't want to have to worry about dumping your tanks. 
so having those big tanks definitely helps. When you do dump your black tank though, you'll see there's a black tank flush, that way you can wash everything out of there nice and easy so you don't have a bunch of stuff stuck on your sensors. The docking station for all of your uh, water inlets as well as your cable inlets there. You know what, here, tell you what, let me open this up for you. This one's locked, the 0751 key. There you go, so there it is, outside shower. You can see you have the tank fill, uh, so if you flip it down, it'll be city water, otherwise like this will fill your fresh tank. Um, You'll, you'll have the um, black tank flush right here. So this one has two black tanks. That's why you have two black tank flushes, satellite and cable inlet. And then as I mentioned, that of course is where you will put the water for both the tank fill and the gravity fill. And then, or tank fill and city water, sorry. And then right over here to the side, open that up again. Other side of our big pass-through storage. And lastly, you have this compartment here. And this is where your BAL auto level system will be located. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2021 Rogue Armored 371. If you're interested in this big, beautiful toy hauler and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Also in the comments section, let me know what you think they nailed, what they failed, or if you were designing this RV, what you would change. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.